The A to Z guide to Bordeaux wines. Today, the letter P, as in palate. Let Bordeaux wines reveal their expression. Hello, Elsa. Hello. Having observed and breathed in the aromas of a Bordeaux wine, what is the next stage? Well, the third stage of the tasting is assessing the taste on the palate. That must be the most important step. Yes, it is a very important stage, but the previous stages shouldn't be underestimated. Our tongue enables us to identify four tastes. Sweet, savoury, acidity and bitterness. Tastes which provoke a physical reaction, a sensation of warmth, tingling and astringency that we feel on the edges of the tongue. Does tasting call on all the senses? Yes, in this way. We always sip a small quantity of wine and then chew it. This means moving the wine back and forth over the palate. And here we will have the first perceptions of taste. Okay. Then we draw in a little air that we will exhale through the nose. This is known as retroolfaction, which allows us to separate the flavours. Then we spit out the wine, and the important thing here is the length on the palate, which we count in seconds. In French, we measure this time in caudalie. How can I talk about my sensations? Well, there are three stages when we taste a wine. To start, the first taste, which can be supple, pure and round. Then there is the development, which we call the second taste. Here we will assess the texture of a wine, its consistency and body. At the end, we will spit out the wine and assess the length of the flavours on the palate. All of these factors result from the wine's balance and that's what we seek when we taste a wine, to assess its balance. Retroalfaction, balance, length on the palate. Now you know as much about Bordeaux wines as I do.